how to check Google ranking. Craig here and in this video I'm going to be showing you a software that I use almost daily to keep track of the ranking of keyword phrases that I want it to keep track of. Now it keeps track of my ranking in Google and Bing. Now before I show you the software I want to show you a free method that you can use to go and check the ranking of any particular keyword phrase and I also want to show you a mistake that many new marketers make. I'm a member of Wealthy Affiliate, so we have lots of people that are just getting into affiliate marketing and they come in and they say, hey, great news, I'm on the first page of Google, when in fact they're not. It's just that Google is personalizing some of their results. So an example of that is I'm logged into Google and I'm going to go search a keyword phrase, Wealthy Affiliate Review. Now, straight away, Google has already given me some personalized results because we have this icon here, which means it's personalized. Now we can turn these off and some of the listings go away. But Google still uses my browser cache, my cookies, my search history, and my IP and location. And it somewhat alters my search results. Now one option is if you use Google Chrome, we can come over here and we can open a new incognito window. And we'll go back to Google, go to google.com, and we'll go and search the same keyword phrase and this time it's going to search it and the only thing Google knows about us right now is the IP so it's still personalizing them based on our location but it's not using any cookies you know Google related accounts or anything like that now there is a free website called what page of search am I on now this is a great website if you just want to quickly go and check one keyword phrase but the reason I use the software that I'm going to show you is because I track several different keyword phrases I track videos I put on YouTube, articles I post, blog posts and training I put on Wealthy Affiliate. And if I was to use this website to track all that, I would always be on this website where this software, but with this software, I just click a button and it goes off and checks everything. And it also keeps track. So if I wanted to know where I was ranked five days ago, well, I'm going to know and it's going to show me in a nice little graph. So the other day I created a blog post, how to back up a WordPress site, and I want to go check where I'm ranked. So I'm going to enter in how to back up a WordPress site, and then I'm going to enter in my URL, and we can change it from, you know, to google.ca if we wanted to. I want to leave it on google.com, and I'm going to press search. And what it will do is it will check the first 10 pages, and when it finds it, it will stop. So it's found that here's my blog post, and I'm on page number one, which is great. But it's great if you just want to quickly know where you're ranked for a certain keyword phrase. But what you have to keep in mind is this software or website, whatever you want to call it, is using an IP. Now, I don't know where this IP is located. So Google is going to be returning ranking results based on the website's IP locations. Now, let's try again and see if it returns an error, which I was talking about. Well, it's still going to do it. But what you'll find is sometimes you go to do a query and it'll say, oh, you'll have to check back again because right now we have to, you know, take a break or whatever because Google will ban their IP address if they do too many queries. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is the software that I use. And if you want to check it out, you can visit my affiliate link, which is thewiseaffiliate.com slash a ranker. And it's pretty straightforward. There are no fancy graphics because all it is, it's the data that we want it to keep track of. Uh, we have a column here where we enter in our keyword phrases and websites, a column for our Google ranking, the changes, the Bing ranking, and the changes, the country, and the date last checked. And we have some other options here. Uh, this is for if we wanted to change some of the keyword phrase details. We can say, yeah, don't check Bing anymore, and we can put it into a different campaign. Uh, we can make it use a certain proxy. So let's say we wanted to know where we ranked in the UK. Well, if we set up a UK proxy, it's going to you know, check the ranking as if this computer was based in the UK. You can set up notifications. So let's say you appeared on the first page of Google. Well, it will notify you via email, or perhaps the other way around if you were knocked off the first page of Google, it would notify you. So if you made changes, you'd click update. We have an option here to add notes. So let's say I just created an article pointing back to my blog post 
which would increase my ranking, hopefully, or I could you know, submit an article to streetarticles.com and you save it so that you can somewhat figure out, well, yeah, this is what work I did. So here, play that would just go and check the ranking right now and you can delete it if you want. So up at the top here, we have several buttons. Check all, obviously it's gonna check all of your keyword phrases. I'm not gonna be showing you all of the keyword phrases that I target. Uh, check stars, that's if a keyword phrase has a star, it will only check the starred phrases. Site URL, if we want to add a URL to our database. And keyword, if we want to add a keyword to our database. Campaign, if we want to create a new campaign. Now, let's say, you wanted to create a campaign and you call this street articles. So the purpose of that is any keyword phrases you want to rank on street articles, well, you could track in a separate campaign just to keep everything organized. Now you can import on all of these features and you can import up to like 50 URLs at a time or 50 keywords at a time. Uh, add statistic on here, this is where we could add uh, a keyword phrase one at a time or we can also import. So you'd select your keyword phrase, your URL, country, Bing and Google, campaign and proxy and your notification and hit save and it would import a new keyword phrase. Or you simply click on import statistic and it would import from a text file. Now the text file is pretty straightforward to set up. I'll show you one. So this is a YouTube video URL and then we have the country code. Basically we add a comma and then the country code, comma, our keyword phrase, comma, and the campaign name. And then you just import and it sets everything up for you. So going over the other options under file, we have settings. Here we can go under the schedule of settings and set this program to run every day, week, or month, however often you want it to go and check the keyword phrases. I personally don't use this, but it's available if you want to. The reason I don't use it is because I don't like to have numerous pieces of software open in my taskbar. Normally when I'm done with something, I shut it down. We have notification settings and some default settings. Request delay. This is because the way this software works, it's actually your computer requesting the data from Google. So I set mine to between 15 and 25 seconds because I don't want to be banned by Google. And when I say banned, they you know put a temporary block on you making requests. And there's some other details where you can set your proxy and you know the max number of searches you make. You also have a logo path, and I'll show you that in a minute when I export some data. So you can set your logo and obviously hit save. Proxy, you have here, you can import a whole bunch of proxies. I'm not gonna get into that. And that's pretty much it, it's very straightforward. So I'm gonna go and show you a campaign. So I obviously blurring some of this out because I don't want to show you what my campaign names are. So we're gonna choose this one, backup WordPress. Now again, like I said, I created this post on my blog around five days ago, I think it was. And I also, uploaded the video to YouTube, and I also created a blog post on another person's blog. So I wanted to keep track and also for this video purpose. So here I have my the website URL and I have all the keyword phrases. And then if I scroll down, you'll see that I also have the video which is for the blog post. Now I knew I was going to be making this video. So with this particular campaign, I checked my ranking numerous times over the past four or five days because I wanted to show you how things look in the graph that it creates. So let's say I wanted to view my history for this particular keyword phrase, how to back up a WordPress site. I can click on view history. And right now it's showing me from April 7th to April 8th. So I'm gonna change that. And we're gonna go back to the beginning of April because I believe I started tracking this on the fourth, but we'll go to the first and we'll click refresh. And here it shows us the uh, the ranking. Now, obviously I'm not ranked in Bing yet, so there's no Bing data on here. So that's great, I can see, and this is pretty normal for ranking to go up and down. But let's say this was for a local client and I wanted to you know, print out a PDF file or whatever. 
So I can simply right click and export selected records. And we're going to change the dates that we want to give them. We'll go from the first again. And we'll click show report. And we're just going to call this test one, two, three and click save. What it's going to do, it's going to grab all of the data and put it into a PDF file. And here is our PDF file. So it has our company logo. If you want to put a company logo, search engine ranking report gives us the site URL, the keyword phrase, uh, the date the report was created, when and you know when the details start from and when they finish, and ranking date based on uh, 100 search results. So we have the Google and the Bing, the date and time when these checks were performed. And then down here, it gives us our nice looking graph. So that is another great feature that I really like about this software. Uh, again, if you want to check it out, you need to go to thewiseaffiliate.com slash aranker. That is actually my affiliate link. So that's it. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, have yourself a great day.